yellow how's it going guys thank you for watching for this video i'm gonna do a recap on last week's trading activity that i did all the stocks that i bought and sold i'm gonna focus a lot on the entries and the exits all the things that i felt i did well and other things that i need to improve on uh, this is one for me to be able to go back to and not have to sit through three hours to figure out my uh, lessons but also for you guys if you find this video interesting this uh, highlights you might want to go back to the video and uh, so you'll see uh, my rationale behind going into a stock uh, where I may have messed up. You can kind of see where the fear comes in, where the greed kicks in. But I'm going to try to keep it as quick as possible. Uh, it definitely won't be as long as the live trades, obviously, because they're two to three hours long. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet. And don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when more videos like this come up. And also you'll get notified when I go live for the market for live trading. Uh, so let's get into this. Now you got to excuse me, but I'm using another computer uh, to be able to write on the um, on the graphs. So there's going to be some kind of a delay. Uh, just keep that in mind. So we're going to start off with Monday. And so Monday I bought a United Airlines. Uh, it was one of the stocks that was uh, basically... Uh, trading with high volume in the pre-market. This is how I find most of the stocks that I trade. The only exception were the uh, swing trades that I talk about uh, for Thursday, but that's going to be later on. So as you can see here with uh, with United Airlines, I saw a bottom out here after it opened. So this is where it bottomed out. And then I saw it kind of bounce back and forth. This was a higher low and this is another higher low. So I thought it was going to go like this. Uh, so I got in somewhere on there, but immediately when I got in, it started dropping. So I was on the red, it went green for a little bit, and it stayed mostly red uh, for the remainder of the time. Now, one thing about Monday and Tuesday, I stayed up for the market. So I'm in Hawaii, the market opens at 3.30 in the morning. So I was trying to stay up because it was difficult for me to wake up uh, to uh, uh, for the market open. So I stayed up, but then I realized later on that was a mistake, uh, but I, I, uh, that's because I'm already kind of tired. The market opens and I'm trying to look at graphs and make decisions when I'm already kind of uh, uh, sleep deprived. And so some of the mistakes on Monday and Tuesday I owe to the fact that I was just sleepy. I fell asleep on some of these uh, and so I, I was stopped. Uh, I went to a stop loss. So for this one right here, United Airlines uh, went in one share. Uh, just a reminder, I do have $1,000 with the Thinkorswim uh account and because i'm still learning i'm gonna limit my exposure for, by about ten dollars or one share of a particular stock and so with this one because it was 23 dollars, i just bought one share I, I went in at 23.73 looking for the breakout i got out at 23.82 so i did make nine cents which sounds silly but remember i'm just still learning and i was so tired right here that I pretty much just waited until I went green and then I sold it. So I got uh, my, uh, my exit point was here, but obviously it was way too early because it, it started pick, uh, going up. It kind of hit a, a new resistance here, but it, it stayed within this support. If I wasn't as tired as I was, I would have probably kept it because it didn't go past the support here and it would have, you know, kind of uh, flattened out for a little bit, but it then eventually went up to a higher up here. Uh, so there was a lot of potential in that one. I missed it okay i mean lesson learned uh at least i didn't go red on that one that was monday i only did one stock on monday which is good that, that i should keep it like that and uh, you're gonna notice that i made a mistake on the next day by getting uh, overextended and so let's go to the next thing so this is tuesday and the first stock that i got into was acorn now acorn again these are all high volume pre-market stocks and so i got in about 20 minutes after the market opened about 30 shares at 0.3538 cents and i got out at 0.319 and because of those 30 shares i actually ended up losing a dollar and four cents and so I, let me go over the mistake that i made so i saw it it opened up and it dropped and it hit the bottom right there and then i saw it go up and it hit the resistance right here so this is the support this is the resistance it started dropping and for whatever reason i assume that when it hit the resistance i'm sorry the support here it was just gonna somehow move up um i was wrong not only that but i can't even explain it right now why i thought that, that was gonna be a thing uh it obviously looked like it was gonna start consolidating but i didn't think about it and so it had a big drop right here and i guess i was too 
afraid uh, i didn't want to accept the loss so i just kind of watched it go down where there's no way i should not have let it go past this point here but i did and it just kept going down and down and i, I got i got freaked out right here so i ended up selling for a loss uh, and so the lesson learned on this one is one i got into three sh stocks at the same time so i was going back and forth between all three which is really hard to do and two i should cut my losses early so even though everybody tells you cut your losses cut your losses i didn't right so that was another mistake so i was always i was overextended because i had three stocks i didn't cut my losses early enough and i actually my entry was just dumb it just what it didn't make sense it doesn't make sense to me now i don't know how i made sense of it then but i think i was just hired already okay so that was the first stock so the next one was uh, novavax uh, nvax and that one uh, same thing as the previous one high volume in the morning about one share at 39.75 i got out at 39.49 i was doing a trail stop the way i understand it you put a, a trail stop so that when the, as the stock moves up that new limit order moves up with it it didn't work out that way i don't know why i don't know if i did it wrong or it's just uh it didn't move up high enough to change i lost uh 26 cents as you can see it hit a support here if i got in i should have gotten in right here but i didn't it hit another high low uh higher low and so that was one two and you can even say three uh higher lows when i got in and that was actually the top already so it started dropping and uh, I stayed above this support here, which is uh, where I should have gotten in. So I went green and then it started going red and I was so tired at this point and I didn't want to really wait too much longer. So you can see I got in somewhere around four in the morning and then at five, right around 5.45, it started rebounding. So that's an hour and 45 minutes of just kind of watching it be in the red. I got stopped out and I think I, I did the trailing stop, went to sleep and it started climbing out here, okay? And by this time I was asleep already, but if I was awake, then I could have, you could have seen that it, even though I had a big drop right here, it didn't go past the support. And so it just continued to go high up to a 44.94, which would have been a nice profit. Even if I got out somewhere right here, um, it still would have been a nice profit, but I got, I was too tired and I was testing the trailing stop and just wasn't, Obviously, I'm still too new, so that was a mistake right there. And there's one more stock that I got into on Tuesday, and this is Seabay. And so Seabay, again, high volume pre-market. Uh, I saw a bottom out, and then it was higher and higher, right? So I, you can see this, this trend. The problem is that I, sh I should have recognized it somewhere around here and gotten it here or over here. But I guess I got over overly excited when I recognized the pattern. So I got in and I was already too high. You see that? So when I got when I got in, it dropped, but it's, it maintained this upward trend. And so once I got green, I saw it. I monitored it, kept going higher and higher. It hit the this is the high of the day, and I should have gotten out right when it hit this line. Uh, see how it went below this line? I should have gotten out somewhere right there, but I didn't. I actually got down, got out here. I did make 16 cents. But as you can see, I got in high. I would have probably gotten out around the same price, but I would have gotten in earlier. And so, uh, lesson learned. So for this one, the biggest lesson is kind of wait for it to go to the bottom. So don't buy at the high. Wait until it touches this trend line that it's following and just get out as soon as you see that break at that, that previous support. Okay, so that was Tuesday. I did not trade uh, trade on Wednesday. I was trying to work on my uh, sleep schedule. I was trying to go to sleep early so that I can wake up for the market because that way uh, I wouldn't be as tired by the time I got to five, six o'clock in the morning. And so Wednesday, I basically tried to, my best to go to sleep at seven. On Thursday, I woke up at two in the morning, got ready, took a shower, kind of wake myself up. And then I started streaming at three somewhere around close to I think I was late but uh I'm trying to start my stream 30 minutes before the market opens so just look out for that this is ETF SPXS this is the first trade for the day and I basically got stopped out again I was trying to test the trail stop uh I got in at 11.59 one share got out at 11.56 got stopped out at 1156 for a loss of three cents as uh, so you can see this is where it stopped it started moving up it went past this resistance here 
and became another that resistance became the support and so i should have gotten in right there but i just kind of watched it too long uh i try to i basically try to get a deal on it and as soon as that i would put in an order it would move up uh or something like that I, i'm trying to remember it right now and so when i got in it just kind of stayed flat it went up just a little bit for the high of the day and then i got stopped out which was actually good because i got in right at the basically the high of the day and so i, I don't regret this one i even, even though i lost um i didn't lose as much as potentially i could have been especially if i fell asleep like the previous days which i was fine i mean they were, it just kept going down all day so on thursday i did that one i got stopped out and then i found carnival corp a uh, carnival cruises and so this one was actually the only good trade that i did uh all week uh like excellent i guess uh according to plan everything worked out according to plan so again it hit a low of 11 dollars right here uh it went up hit a support i'm sorry hit a resistance it had a higher low and again it had a higher low here so as soon as i saw that recovery so that's two high so this is the bottom one and two so as soon as i saw that trend i got in right there okay and i just watched it and I, if you can see i'll go check out thursday's live stream you can see i was pretty excited i was freaking out here and there you know what i mean so like when it started rebounding here i was like mm, should i stay in or should i go but because it didn't reach this resistance here uh then i just kept kept holding on and so i reached this point here and started dropping but again it didn't hit the resistance here so i just held on to it and it kept going and again same thing it didn't reach it so it just kept going and eventually uh here i was kind of nervous i didn't know if i was already kind of pushing it uh but you can see this resistance became the support it kept going higher and then i told myself if it crosses this line then i sell and that's what i did i sold right there and so for that one which again was the best trade all week i made a dollar okay so it doesn't seem like a lot but if i went in for 11.24 and i got out at 12.24 that's uh, almost, that's 9%, around 9% that I made, which is pretty good. You know, uh, obviously right now I'm only trading one share of $10, but uh, eventually if I get up to like a thousand or 5,000 or whatever, that's gonna be a significant uh, gain, okay? So right here, this is the best one. This is a uh, follow my, my plan. Uh, I did feel greed, I did feel uh, fear, but I stuck with my uh, plan and I succeeded for that one. Uh, and then this is the next one is where my mistakes started kind of multiplying. I wanted to test some uh, swing trades. So swing trades meaning, uh, you know, a day trade is you buy and sell on the same day. Hopefully you buy low, you sell high. And then swing trades, you buy one day and then you sell either the following day or a few days after that. And so that's what I was trying to kind of test. There is this technique of how you can find these um, stocks that are looking like they're going to break out. And so I did that. What I made a mistake right off the bat is that I went about five. Now you can look at it as, you know, well, five, that means there's more chances for, for a winner. But at the same time, I have to monitor all five when the market opens, which I had trouble with three, so five is just too many. And so the first one was Mara, and this was a penny stock. So the technique is you buy the last hour of the market and then you kind of monitor the pre-market and make a decision right after market opens to either keep or sell and so that's what i did so the next five i bought at the end of the day on uh, on this thursday hoping that it'll be higher on friday so let's go with the first one okay so the first one i got in right around here as you can see it had a couple of highs up here uh and it but it, it rebound it, it was supported right around here the problem is that when it opened, it hit a bottom, of, which is you know way lower than than uh, the support here from before. So I didn't know if I should sell it. I can't, I was kind of holding on to this one for a while. For these, it was a little better if you guys watch the live stream. If you can, if you can't watch all of them, try to watch the one on Friday, uh, because a lot a lot of things were going on. Not only because I had five positions, but because I had to flip back and forth on all of them, and all of them uh, were negative uh, at some point. And so with this one, I uh, woke up and, um, you know, I, st I started observing and it hit a bottom of, uh, here. I wasn't sure if I should cut my losses uh, when it opened right here, since I was already down, uh, especially because it started dropping big time. 
but normally when there's a big drop there's normally a big a rise after that and so i just kind of try to you know hold on for it and then so it did start uh, picking up but it, it didn't it kind of stopped here and it eventually just started kind of consolidating right around this price right on the, uh, on the 200 moving average and it did hit a high it looks like it's going to stop moving here so i try to sell it but it just dropped like fast like really really fast it dropped big and then i was like mm. i was more frustrated than anything so if you look at the friday live stream you can see that i, I just kind of let it go which was a dumb mistake because it dropped again and i ended up getting over here, getting out over here where i could have easily gotten out here i think if i got out right around this area it would have only been about 30 cents but um i was being stubborn and i ended up losing 94 cents so when I, by the time i got out right here i lost 94 cents so the next one again this was a swing trade so i bought on thursday here all right and this is uh chimerix and chimerix i bought what was it C -M -R -X -C -M. I bought two shares at 359 and i lost 52 cents because i got out at 333 so again it opened i'm sorry i bought here it opened here right and then i just watched the drop and i don't know why i don't understand why i just let it go all the way down here again maybe it was just overwhelmed by having to track five different uh, stocks and it just kept dropping it kept dropping i guess here i got hopeful that it was going to come back up but even when it dropped i still didn't sell and i held it and it just kept going now so you can see this is this is a downtrend from the beginning and i didn't get out to here and so by then I was already down, uh, what did I say, 52 cents. And so that was just a, a mistake that I didn't cut my losses soon enough. All right. And uh, definitely it's not a good idea to have too many positions in at the same time, unless, unless they're good companies and you're going for the long. Like right now I have close to 30 uh, positions with Robinhood. Okay, Gina, so this is another one. Uh, this one I realized that I, was, I got in too high already. So this was like the second or third day that was on, on its high. Uh, and so this was a mistake. Just, just getting in this one was a, a mistake. Okay. So I got in here and then I got out. I'm sorry. It opened somewhere around here. Uh, so I was already negative and then I just watched it go down. And I eventually got frustrated and got out here. Uh, I should have cut my losses right there. Uh, but I didn't. I just kind of watched it go down. And then obviously as things work uh it bottomed out here and it's just like this massive jump that it reached at a dollar 95. so genius i got a, a five shares at a dollar 72. i sold at a dollar 44 for a negative one dollar 40 cents that's uh by far the biggest loss so far uh after that dollar and four cents this is a negative uh, dollar and 40 cents and i mean you could say that if i would have waited longer i could have you know take advantage over here but i would have had to continue to uh, bleed basically go all the way down to the here where i could have just sold it and if, it, if i thought it was a good enough stock i could have just kind of monitor it or wait until it got to the bottom as i'm about to show you it's not a, it's not necessarily a good thing to you know lose in a stock and get back into it uh, when you lost the first time so this is the vbi vaccines inc all right, another swing trade. I got in right here at the high of the pretty much the, the day. Okay, it opened and I actually opened up here. So I was up on this one. And again, trying to just, I don't know what, what I, I should have just sold right there and took my gains. That was the whole point of the swing tra uh, trade is to buy it. And then hopefully in the morning it's higher and I just sell it, make a quick profit. But I didn't for whatever reason because it was the only one that was gaining. I thought it might go higher. I let it go red and I panicked right here, which wasn't really that low from where my entry point was. Actually, I sold here. I'm sorry. I sold here at the very, very bottom and then it started bouncing back up. So I bought it again. I kind of contemplated that a lot. If you can watch the live stream, you see that I struggled with it. I got into it and then I watched it go green and go higher and higher. And for whatever reason, I put my order, my limit order here. And it didn't catch so it just dropped and instead of trying to close it at the bid i was just mesmerized by how fast it just dropped even though it was consolidating you can see that it was slowing down for whatever reason i just like i said it just i couldn't believe how fast it dropped 
And so I watched it drop all the way down to about two cents above what I went into it. And so, yeah, that was a big mistake of mine. One, I shouldn't have gone into five different positions. Two, I should have taken my gains right when I, when I saw them, uh, when a market opened. That's just how that worked out. This is going to be the last one. So it's a riot. Again, it was another swing trade. I had five of them, which is a mistake again. Riot, I ended up losing 36 cents. And then it opened right around my entry and then it dropped it went red i should have sold before it went past this line but i didn't i held it and went green and i should have sold it as soon as it went green but i didn't and it just started consolidating and then it dropped and i ended up holding it way too long uh to a loss right here but a lot of mistakes made so i only really had one good trade and that was on thursday the idea is for most trades to go how that thursday uh trade went united airlines wasn't too bad either uh, but i think i like i mentioned i made some mistakes there and so yeah this is just like a pro learning process hopefully you guys learn from my some of my mistakes uh some of the some of the things that i learned here you guys can uh you know let me know in the comment section if that helps you if you're interested in this really if i learned anything not only researching but actually playing the market is that you have to stick to, to your plan you have to have an exit point you have to have a, a risk reward ratio that makes sense and so you don't want to be a one-to-one -one. you want to be able to you know if you're going to risk 10 cents you got to be able to win 10 20 cents uh, minimum so that way when you, if you lose for one trade you don't have to went to to make up for that loss you know what i mean so there's definitely a lot that i learned obviously i hope to learn more to get better at this uh, to grow my account and if you guys want to come along for the ride uh, don't forget i do have a patreon account that i haven't really been putting a lot of attention to but now that i'm probably gonna uh, swing a little bit uh to a uh, trading i'm still gonna be adding keto videos here and there i'm still gonna be adding vlogs but I think I'm going to start going a little bit heavier on this trading stuff until I blow up my account or I just realize that maybe it's not for me. But for right now, I'm very interested in this. And so what I'm going to do on my Patreon account, I do have a journal of all my trades where I put in details on my uh, mistakes, my uh, the things that I did well. And so I'm going to make these available. And I'm thinking from this point on, I'm going to make these highlight videos available on my Patreon account. So this is probably the only one that's going to go onto my youtube channel and the other ones are going to be benefits from patreon so give me a couple of days to work on my patreon account and in the meantime i hope you enjoy this video if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel don't forget to hit that bell and uh, i really appreciate you guys watching and uh, yeah just check in a week uh, my patreon account that's where all these highlight videos are going to go uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye